Okay. Um, I've also um, let's go back into negotiations. Sent out these scouts. Now the scouts are absolutely rubbish. You can't impaze, and this is one of my rants, and lots of other players probably as well. I don't know. Um, you can't send a scout to look at a specific player. So there are players in my list I would like, and I've just sent them out there. But, you know, if if they find them, they find them, and if they don't, they don't. And I don't know what's going on. I hate the scouting system in this game. Uh, goodness me. Okie dokie. So I'm going to leave it there for now and push the magic button and see what happens. News of our transfer negotiations. So our goalkeeper said, nah. Escobar said, yes. Um, the central defender, Sotala, said yes. And Gurney has said yes. So it's just the goalkeeper that didn't fancy it. Let's head over there. And let's do some deep. So the goalkeeper thinks we smell a bit. Coming. Come into the club. Left back problem sorted. Oh yeah, we like that. So, bearing in mind, I thought the centre back problem uh, pairing, uh, the, the centre backs were a problem in default, last league squad, and left backs are a problem, and right midfielders or right wide forwards, as I play, I think I'd better get some right wide forwards next time around. Signing reveal day, and only one of them can be revealed, and I haven't got a clue who that is. I couldn't tell you. It's a defender, that I'm sure. Having signed two left-backs and two centre-backs, of course it's a defender. You stink, he says to the boss man. I've just let one off, he says. There you go. It's all jolly japes. I still don't know who he is. He's happy to be here, though. You know. So I went in some, for some more players. Um, I think he's a right way forward, and I think he's pretty good. And no one has turned us down. These players are pretty good. Let's go and take a look. So again, all these players were open to come into the club. So I just put in, as you can see, their current salary, their proposed salary, making it up with bonuses. So I identified um, a few positions that we could do with this guy. Good player and of course you know a backup right wide forward as well because I identified that both those positions needed changing now the wages are going down a bit as you can see we've got 21,420 to play with this guy is a really good striker and I was surprised when he was open to come into the club he's 22 years old Boy, this guy can play. So we need someone to bag those goals, and he's going to do that. We've got 12,000 wages left to play with. And I think that the defensive midfield position is a concern, because Hattic is there. Once Hattic's gone, you've got Grenville. That's a problem. The central midfield is less of a concern for me. Um, because Castledean and Arkes can play there. 
you know. So, yeah, that's good. We'll leave Jalal there and come back to him later once we've secured the, the funds to be able to sign him, you know, in wages. But, yeah, that's good, good stuff. And here we go. I think this is our striker, Pavaldis. I think that's him. The guy who I couldn't work out who it was when we signed those four defenders was Escobar. So that was the guy then. But this is definitely Pavaldis. And he's he's absolutely uh, a really good striker for the division that we're in. Obviously, it goes without saying that Pez works on a team stat basis. So everybody's going to start need to fit in. We're going to need to play games and work on that teamwork stat. But yeah, he's going to be cool. Now, we've had a bid for Pallister. And apparently they're saying that we're not in a position to let one of our starting 11 go. And a strong one at that. Well, we signed Larson and Kuleyapu. So um, I don't know what they're talking about. Bye bye, Pallister. Where is he? See you later. And that means that we can go and accept this deal for the central midfielder Jalan, who I believe is a fake player. So I'm going to sort some other stuff out, including bids for other players and whatnot. Even though we don't have the salary, because you never know about outcome outgoings as well. So I'll see you in a bit. Here we are with our midfielder that we're able to drum up the wages for. In the end, we found an additional crane in our pocket, and um, and a sweet that come out of its wrapping and he said yeah I'll take that yeah so we've got half a packet of polos a piece of string a crane and a sweet that come out of its wrapping and he said yep that's all right but here we are with our fake footballer our midfielder he's got a silly haircut but I'm sure that he can kick a ball or at least kick a ball better than uh, better than the others could anyway so I've got a bit of news for transfers, but I don't have the wages. This is an attacking midfielder. He's not with any club, so if he comes in, his, the teamwork stat will really suffer. And he's going to take a lot of getting into the team. We've also got a bid for Lagoida, who can go, so let's go do that. Lagoid is a player I will never use. Transfer fee, I don't care. Eking out, you know, like one or two thousand era there. Just get him off the wage bill. See you later. So I'll show you the midfielder. Um, and you can see there, I get once again, you know, the proposed salary. But I haven't got two wine gums to rub together here. But he's a good player. Um, can play centre mid as well as support striker. Just the free rolls I like from an attacking midfielder. And obviously there, I mean, I do prefer kind of weak foot usage and accuracy to be around free. But I do searches for that. And then if I'm doing uh, a, a search where it's I drop the usage of foot and accuracy down to two, then I put other stats up. So... He's met whatever criteria I've put in. He's a good player, 21 years old. But like I say, he's just going to take a lot of work to get into the team. If I can, you know, find the funds for him, and that depends on players going out. But I've got a lot of players to move on, you know, as I build this side uh, and try and shape it how I want, which is going to take time. Our players, and it's D Mayer, who is a goalkeeper, and he can go, so let's go do that. Lagoida has left the club. Just get him off the wage bill. See you later. Okay, so 
So what I'm finding as well is, obviously because I've got quite a few players for positions, like I've got three goalkeepers, it was very to find a goalkeeper who wanted to come. Obviously the scouts are busy, you know, and it's potluck where the scout actually finds anybody that you're interested in. Um, so they're busy doing whatever they're doing. Just trying to bring in players, you know, but like I say, if I've got a few goalkeepers, another goalkeeper's not likely to come. So if I can get rid of one, then it might free me up to get in a better goalkeeper or, you know, whatever position that is. We have received a bid for Hetic. And for my money, you can go. Player departure, Mayer has gone. So we already brought in Gray, who is better. And Hetic. Kanga gives us a few wages there. I don't think we can get this deal done. Now we're just a little bit short. but So we've got an offer for Castle Dean. And Castle Dean's alright, but he always lacks pace. Got a good free kick on him, and I like him for that. But we're going to accept this deal. Free up some wages, and obviously that means that we can bring in the other attacking midfielder. He'll have a lot of work to do for teamwork, but. He'll be a good player. So Castle Dean out. Vaca in. Being shown around the training ground. I'm sure he'll come out with all the... I'm really pleased to sign for the club and stuff. Our teamwork stat is really going to take a nosedive when he's in and around the team. So I'm going to have to play him. I'm going to have to do the grind and play him. Once he's firing on all cylinders, though, he'll be a good player. Negotiations with Melikov and Kandemir. Castle Dean gone. Vaca joined. Let's go and sort it all out. So Mel not got a replacement goalkeeper yet. I've tried, you know, endlessly. Candymere can go. Goodbye. That leaves me with three centre backs, and I like three centre backs. This is something I do like. Vaca needs um, turning down offers because he's not going anywhere. So we'll leave the bid on the Melikov and I'm going to see if I can secure another goalkeeper.